on the yep. next couple of days here and good weather today for it. Yeah, at least for today. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's going to be a home run if you're going out to the fair or if you're going to the Syracuse Mets game. Yeah, you know, not everyone's cup of tea is the fair, so maybe you want to take in some sporting action. 635 Worcester in town again this evening. I think it's mostly sunny at 635, 81 degrees, a light wind at 3 to 8 miles per hour, a little lower humidity this afternoon as well. After reaching 83 for a high, we fall down into the mid 70s for the ride home. Should be very comfortable after some warm temperatures this afternoon. A dry day after several days in a row with some showers and thunderstorms. That low pressure system moved very slowly right over us and is now departing. There are still some sprinkles in the Adirondacks and in eastern New York, and there may be another pop up shower or two as we heat things up over the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks, well northeast of Onondaga County as we get into the afternoon hours. Otherwise, there's already a lot of sunshine west of central New York, and I think we eventually get to a mostly sunny sky, but we've got some patchy fog that'll burn off some cumulus clouds that'll pop up later on this evening should be mostly sunny that high pressure right over us and I think it's going to be comfortable in most spots. You know this morning we have a couple of outlying spots in the upper 50s low to mid 60s for a lot of central New York expect low 60s to 60 with a lot of spots being in the 50s for tonight as we have little wind and that high pressure. This warm front will give us a couple of clouds up east of Lake Ontario later on tonight towards tomorrow morning and then towards tomorrow evening a cold front starts to approach. Maybe we get an isolated shower I think for the most part, the New York State Fair today, tomorrow is going to be dry. Friday, not so. In fact, there is a slight chance for a strong to severe thunderstorm on Friday. It's still two days away, something we're watching. It's not a washout Friday. I think these are going to be scattered and we'll still get some partial sunshine. But if you want completely dry weather, today is the day to go to the fair. We've got a blend of sunshine and clouds. The gates open, what, about 9 and 10 o'clock? The buildings here, you can see 73 degrees. Blend of sunshine and clouds as that patchy fog burns off. Some cumulus clouds pop up. Up, up here towards the Tug Hill, the Adirondacks, isolated shower later this afternoon. About 83 will be our high and lower humidity after a very sticky morning. Humidity still running a little high. That should start to go down with a light breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour, maybe a gust to 15. Tonight, less wind, a mainly clear sky will drop down into the 60s and many spots will drop into the 50s. A little bit more clouds up to the north to start tomorrow. Otherwise, a blend of sunshine and clouds once again for tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, after hitting mid 80s to low 80s, 84 in Syracuse, the clouds increase and towards the evening, an isolated shower possible. Then on Friday, this cold front's going to be coming on in, but probably not until Friday evening. So I do expect the showers and thunderstorms to be hitting at times. Other times, some partial sunshine and high humidities back here by Friday as well. So quiet day today, 83. Isolated late afternoon and evening shower tomorrow, 84 degrees. Then there's the stormy day with just scattered showers and thunderstorms, some partial sunshine, a little bit more cloud cover than I expected Saturday morning and midday, so partly sunny now, turning mostly sunny later in the afternoon. It's my pick day, though, with lower humidity in 79. 86 on Sunday, nearing 90, a hot one for Monday. A few storms coming next Tuesday. Abby?